is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 368, NASDAQ off 320, SPs off 64, gold contract down $18.80, straight at 1733 an ounce. You got silver off 23 cents, $22.45 an ounce. Light sweet crew down 40 cents, $75.05 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 12 six, trading 131.13. 30 year off one and a half points, trading out at 159.07. We get the 10 year right now is yielding 1.53. King dollar, King dollar just took out its high. We up 386 ticks, 93,768. Euro is at 116, yen's at 111.62, and the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we got divergence out here, and this is what it is. So on the SPY, you're, you're coming into your downdraft that was created out here last week. Uh, the low of that downdraft is 428, the high is 436. Now watch this, folks. This is pretty cool. So the high is 436.56. We're going to do a lot lighter volume. I mean a lot lighter volume in the SPY. Okay, so we were down the first time with 166 million shares. We've done 88 right now. So I suspect what we're going to probably do is, I don't know, maybe 100, okay? It's still 100 versus 166. The number to keep your eye on if you're looking for a bounce is this. It's 436.56. And what that is, folks, is that that's the high of your high volume low. If the SPY closes above that today, you'll get a bounce tomorrow. That's my take on it. On the SPY. Now, that's the SPY. Now, here's the difference. Inside the NDX 100, what you have is this. Different ball game altogether, too, big time. Inside the NDX, the three Qs, we have come down to a price point of 359. Well, you've already done 77 million shares. Well, this is an ABC structure on the way down. You're breaking 76 million. So your A point on this is the high, which is the 382.77. Your B point is a 360.93. So let's just say 18 bucks. Your C point up here is the 374. So that's going to get you what? 64, 54, 356. And we made it to 359.37. So when you look at this, two different things end up happening. We're going to have now an additional high volume low, so that's going to get tested. We have an ABC structure on the way down that's not finished yet. I expect they're both going to be finished. So it's, it's going to be intriguing because this is a tough one, meaning that, that normally if you are going to keep going south, the SPY should be a lot lower also with volume, and it's not. So that's telling me that it, we got to have a heads up uh, for a slight bounce here. That being said, my take is that we're still in a monster consolidation and that we're going to be running down to this uh, 19th of July 
level. That's where, that's where I'm looking for this baby to go. This could get real deviant, man. And what I mean by real deviant is that you could get another little bounce. If you're getting a bounce that's on lighter volume, then you're going south again. What you don't want to happen if you're a bull is this. You don't want to see a bounce and then a sideways move. Because the bottom line is if you see a sideways move, that's building cause for lower price if we haven't tested the low. That's, that's kind of how this baby shakes out. Uh, if we take a look at the tick out here, when you, when you get something like this, folks, okay, between the tick and the trend, you can get a kind of a, a good understanding of, okay, are we getting close? Where are we in the aspect of making any kind of a bottom? Well, thus far, there's not fear, and that's not good. That's the, that's the other side of it. So our lowest tick reading out here today, you know, it's saying 1404, but you can't use that one because that's the one off the, uh, off the, the opening. You know, we can use the one... Yeah, t 10 minutes attend. That was uh, minus 13.95. That's not enough. That's that's the bottom line. That that's not enough. And so let's go over to the NQ. I mean the E minis first because that is that close there on the E minis is going to be really important. And what I've seen many times though in downdrafts is that you can get a good little bounce going and all of a sudden it just gives it up in spades. Right now, the, the way the E-mini is uh, trading, it looks to me like the C-mini is going to try to make a, a run <laughs> to higher price. As you know, we had a low out here, 43.34. You know, you're, uh, what, 56, yeah, we're 35 points above that right now. It looks like it wants to go a little bit higher, man. I mean, this thing can get into, uh, what, 30, 84? Yeah. I mean, this thing... 43.84, that's another, uh, what, uh, 14, 15, 16 points. That'll only get us down to about 45 points. That's what it looks like. Um, NQs, we pull the NQs up. What you have inside the NQs. They get a bounce too, man. They want to bounce. These last couple of bars, people, people, people are greedy, man. <laughs> we're, we're in a correction, folks, but because this, this buy-in, the dip has worked for so long, man, um, the, the bottom line is that, um, you know, they're going to be buying it and, until they don't buy it. Um, the NQs can get a little bounce, too. I think we're going to get a little bounce. So um, my take, though, that is not the end of where we're going. That, that's the real bottom line. Gold. Gold contract out here. Let's take a look at the gold contract. That traded down to 1727. You're at 1733. That being said, the uh, you've come down with tremendously lighter volume. Okay, now we need a rejection of lower price. What we have had in rejection of lower price is in the Gold Bugs Index as well as the XAU. The XAU, the HUI, uh, pretty hard to believe. In this market, you get the Gold Bugs Index is up nine cents. It went down to 20, 225 or 230. That rejected lower price as did the XAU. So the XAU also got down to the price point. Uh, we hit the low out here today of uh, 117.97. You're at 120 right now. In both cases, they rejected the lower price. They want higher price. Not bad for a market that is, uh, has gone south. And the reality is, is that the gold equities were telling us this market wants to go south. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 377. We get the Nasdaq off 324. S&P's off 64. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You just hit that subscribe button. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 20%, 22% that is. And you get it for one year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. What Basil also has on this page, folks, okay, He's done approximately 10 to 12 archives. So if you want to understand the market, you want to understand how to ride the Chapman wave, you get all of that. Check it out. Come over to our website at TFNN, hit newsletters, hit that opening call. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. We're rocking and rolling. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely actually a little more rolling than rocking this time. Yeah. yeah. So I've been speaking to you for a couple of weeks now and saying that I've been raising money in for my in my subscribership, the opening call newsletter, uh, taking profits where we can, just having small trades. But mostly we've been looking towards the short side. We are short the um, QQQ, the NDX 100, from just about two points off the top, less than two, actually. And uh, what's very interesting at this particular time is, you see, uh, with, within the context of the Dow, if you look at the 35,631 all-time high of the 16th of August, look at this. Low, they make the H pattern. Let me just show this for people who are new to my work. There are a couple of patterns I look at. Straight line, cup formation, and an arch. You can get a combination of one and two or one and three. You can see in this particular case, you've got this big arch formation that took out that left side low, went down lower. And, and usually this fails, this arch formation that I call the H pattern or the dreaded H if it takes out the left side low, it fails at a peak A or a peak B. So there it is at a peak, becomes a peak B minus in the first one round about in August. And we've just had yesterday went to a peak B and stopped right there in that, I call this the inside track repellent zone. See this little tiny channel here, this lower uh, declining channel. And we've pulled back quite sharply. And what's important is the weekly chart is starting to deteriorate. 
And I always look for, in the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking for a buy signal to take prices up to at least four higher peaks, and I alphabetize them, and it's at that fourth highest peak, peak D, where I always say other things can happen. Yes, it can go a little higher. You can see this one went to an E right here, but it's at this fourth highest peak that you, you look to see, is there weakness? Is there a continuation pattern? But the objective is to get you from the starting point to at least the fourth highest peak, and then we use other Chapman Wave techniques. Well, it looks to me like by the end of this, by Thursday afternoon at 4 o'clock, I'm not sure we're going to be going above 35,631. You never know in this kind of the news-related market that we have. You can't tell. But it looks to me like we're finally going to get that peak D in this resistance line. Look at this long-term resistance line in the Dow. Let me just pull this back. And you can see it's going back from uh, 2019 uh, all the way with rising prices. And once again, we got right into that track and this prices are starting to pull back. So on a shorter term, I'm suspecting that we've, we've still got a bit more to go uh, on the downside. And there's a consolidation occurring. But my biggest concern, and as I've mentioned to you quite often, is that the QQQ, which has Amazon, Apple, you've got you know, all, all, these, all the, the really big stocks that count, um, they starting to fail, and you can see that. There's, here's this dreaded, a second dreaded H pattern. This time today, we went underneath the uh, the low of 360.93 that was made. I think it was about the 19th of September. Right now, it's above that. So you have, in my methodology, you have about two to three sessions in which to close above it. But if you go below it, it puts a cap on the upside until you get a buy signal. And if you close below it, it really says that the upside is going to be um, determined by whether or not you can get very good technicals turning around to be able to get a, a strong buy signal. So at this particular point, the QQQs, Big digest, this, I'm almost sure that I'm going to put a down arrow here for the weekly chart to say I've got at least a sell signal in the weekly chart. <laughs> this is the first time in a long time. So I, I'm very cautious here. There's a lot of news. You know, I talk about this bad news cloud cover. We certainly have a whole bunch of things coming together that suggests that the market this time is taking seriously all the things that could be concerns by interest rates. You've got the Fed. You've got the, uh, the vote that comes up on Thursday. They say it's going to be Thursday. You've got the higher. You spoke about the dollar. Look at this is unusual. Look at look how strong the dollar has been. It's broken out above all the recent highs of of this year. So uh, this is leg B now on the monthly chart. Is leg E in the weekly chart? And as leg E in the daily chart, 93.75 for subscribers, be still along the dollar. So all in all, I'd say it's a, oh, and the other thing is a TLT. Uh, look at this from a peak D. Remember the fourth highest peak? Well, there it is, a peak D in the daily chart. And we go from just about 152. Today's low is in the 143.64 area. So there's definitely a, a, a sea change in the interest rate, which we Hadn't really seen before because it mostly traded in a sideways range. So you can see in this arch formation in the weekly chart, the TLT, which is a Lehman 20-year T-bond fund, probably has more um, 20 and 30-year bonds as well. But um, it's gone below. This uh, We've got until Friday to close above the left side low of the th week of the 13th of August, about 145. 43 and right now we're at 144.46. It's possible to do that, but wow, this is the first time we've broken from this uh, July, August, September. It's three months of sideways consolidation. So there's a lot going on in the markets taking notice, and that's the whole thing about my bad news cloud cover. It just says if the market is taking all of this and acting badly, then it's important to focus on the news because that's what's affecting the market. Yeah, it's pretty wild, man. There's no doubt. It, and, you know, the, this, it's intriguing that the, the Dow and the S&P are a lot stronger than um, the NDX 100. You know, we'll see Correct. when we come into this close here because it looks like uh, the, it, it's, it's coming down a bit. But there's no doubt that this is this. It, what I mean by anything, folks, this is a little bit to me, this is a little bit different because normally we, this is a sea change because we've not seen the leadership in the queues, which for what it's four or five years. They've like the semiconductor index. They've led the market up and down. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is the first time we've seen that this previous rally that we started 
uh, a week and a half, a Monday, a week ago. Uh, this is the first time that the Qs didn't lead all the way up and make new all-time highs. So we've well, got to and, respect and, you know, that. Looking at your charts, Basil, uh, <laughs> when you just brought up the aspect, I'm looking at it from 2019, we really haven't had a correction. So it's like, okay, man, it's, it is September 28th of 2021, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know. For anyone looking at this chart, just look. I, actually, let me show you this just real quickly here, if I can get it quickly. I think, yep, I've got it. So let me drag this across here. Look at this uh, green and pink line. I'm going to make it a monthly, and I'm going to change the symbol to the QQQ123. And this is the oh, one, two, no, that's three. That's all right. Look at time. We got 22 yeah. seconds. We're all set. Look at this. Look at the green line. That's the nine period crossing in the monthly chart. There's an L cross wow. long. The Qs have not had a pink uh, decline in the nine period moving average since 2009. You definitely rode that trend, man. You got to love it. Have a Amazing, great one, Basil. Yeah. Have a safe one. Thank Stay you right there, much, folks. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading uh, down uh, 500. NASDAQ's off 374. S&Ps are off 79. So we're going to go over right now. So what we had last night, folks, is that you have... Uh, an Eco Eagle, AEM, is taken over Kirkland Lake. Okay, so AEM, okay, an Eco Eagle, uh, trading right now $49.80. And then if we go to Kirkland Lake, Kirkland Lake has been one strong animal in a monster way. Kirkland Lake is trading at 40.41. Now, the first thing that you can see inside of this, so, so this is a, 
a merger. They, they're saying it's a merger, but the bottom line is that you have an Eco Eagle taking over Kirkland Lake. It's going to be an Eco Eagle. That's going to be the name of it. Now, the ratio is that the ratio is that an Eco Eagle is paying 0.7935 for Kirkland Lake. So every shareholder of Kirkland Lake is going to get 0.7935 of an Eco Eagle. So the first thing when, when I look at this, okay, because we have a lot of targets that own both of these equities, right? So the first thing is this was basically no, no premium, okay? If we take a look at uh, Kirkland Lake, you're going to see that it was actually higher yesterday in a monster way, too. Someone, you, someone knew something, man, that's for sure. Look at this pop yesterday, okay? Bottom line, yesterday it goes from a, uh, it closed the day before at uh, $43. Yesterday it trades up to 46 Bottom line... If you own both of them, well, well the, bummer, the bummer here in this in general, well, the, the, let's do the good thing first. The good thing is an Eco Eagle is going to be strong like bull. It, it, an Eco Eagle was always, always, already a great company. Bottom line, Kirkland Lake, they have great assets. They take gold out of the ground at a very inexpensive price. So in general, it's a good deal. What I don't like about it is that there's zero premium. There's no premium. They're claiming it's a 1% premium. There's no premium. Now, this also happened when Ashante took over Colvist about two weeks ago. So for all of us that own gold stocks, it's not great, um, meaning the aspect that, you, you, that they're taking someone over and you don't have a premium inside of it, you know, because you're buying stocks. Some of the stocks that we're definitely buying, we're looking for them to get taken over. Okay, so now the question is, if you have this equity, what to do with it? Well, first off, what we have to do is this. You have to go into the ratio, because this is always going to trade now at the ratio. There'll be a, there'll be a minus or a plus in a, to a certain number. So, like, if we take right now um, an Eco Eagle. If I take an Eco Eagle, that's trading at $49.00. $49.70. And if I multiply that times the 0.935, I'm going to get $39.47. So if I bring up Kirkland Lake, that's going to be the, if this closed today, it's going to close at $39.47. Well, it's trading at $40.38. So for all the folks that own Kirkland Lake, you have to figure out first off, do you want to hold both of them? Do you want to hold to the close? Secondly, I had some questions about, okay, where are the stops? What you have to do is that you have to look and trade AEM. Kirkland, it, it, Kirkland Lake is going to trade off of AEM, period. Nothing else matters. Nothing at all, else matters at all. Particularly in this case, because both boards voted unanimously to do the deal. So the bottom line, the deal is going to get done. So now let's go to an Eco Eagle. So if we go to an Eco Eagle, would you have one an Eco Eagle? An Eco Eagle, I believe, it's not an ABC down because we, when we popped, we popped with a little volume. An Eco Eagle right now is going into the highs going back to, uh, let's see, where we are. April of 2020. Now, it's coming in with lighter volume, but we haven't got a rejection of lower price yet. So the bottom line is that you got to get a rejection of lower price first, and then we'll see what kind of action you get. So I, I hope that helps uh, if you own either one of them. The, the bummer all around, though, is that there's no premium. I can't, yeah, there's no premium. <laughs> it's like, okay, you just got to, you know, take in a, yeah, so watch this just for a second. So if we look, if we look at the revenue structure, what you're going to see here, if I go to Kirkland Lake, you know, they plan on taking $2.5 in this year and making... $3.24. This is like a profitable company beyond belief, okay? They accelerated out of the gate like in a monster way. If we go look at an Eco Eagle, they take in $4 billion and make two eighty six. So you can see, to me, <laughs> this is saying that Kirkland sold out too inexpensively. That, that's, that's, my, that's my, I mean, kind of looking at this. It's like, okay, hold it. An Eco Eagle's taking in $4 billion and making 286 to the bottom line. Kirkland Lake, I believe, was taking in $2.5 million and making $3 and something, right? 
2.5 billion make it 326. So bottom line, um, you know, and let me see. Well, the advantage, okay, so here's a question. I don't see what advantage there is to owning Kirkland Lake. Um, I guess when I just went through those numbers, there is an advantage, because I think an Eco Eagle got away with murder. <laughs> Meaning, they got an asset that they should have paid more money for. So, in order to, yeah, I, I would keep it. <laughs> That's the bottom line, because you just kind of do those numbers and you, you can see that's a merger of equals, but you're only, they're only paying 0 .7, 0 .935. So if you, just, if you keep AEM and dump Kirkland Lake, well, you could do that too, because then you're still going to own both of them. You could do that. You could do that. I just think what, what's, what I suspect is going to happen, particularly because we, we just saw the Gold Bugs Index as well as the XAU, it looks to me like, you know, on a bad day, the Gold Bugs Index went down to 225. You're at 230 right now. That rejected the lower price. XAU did the same thing. So what you're going to see here is that as AEM moves forward, Kirkland Lake is also going to move at that level. That's, that's how this baby shakes out. So we'll, we'll see where it shakes down, but that's, that's how this thing uh, is going to shake out. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. And as we were speaking, when I was speaking out here uh, earlier when I got on, this number is going to be crucial. And it doesn't look like the S&P is going to hold it. Uh, it looks like uh, we, just, we just pulled back. You had some volume on the first pullback 10 minutes ago. You know, so that's saying that uh, you probably, let's see. So I almost got to the highs of the lows. The highs of the lows from the fullback is 433. We got down to 434.68. Yeah, it looks to me that, yeah, we're still going to have the divergence out there, but this market still wants lower price. Yeah. And we'll, we'll see a lot of this. That, that's why I had brought up that bounce earlier also, okay? Um, it, it's crucial to understand how, if you bounce on a bad market and it's bouncing with light volume, you got to protect yourself, man. I mean, because the bottom line is that they, they're setting up ABC structures on the way down. And because we have not seen a correction in so long, you know, a normal 20% correction is not the end of the world. But guess what? It will be the end of the world for many folks because it's all perception. You know, that's, that's what it comes down to. And it's very tough to look at your account and see it down 20% because, you know, you feel that... You know, you just lost 20% when the fact of the matter is you don't, you don't make or lose any money, you know, until you basically sell it. That, that's what it comes down to. Are we had a break, Al? Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. 
With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 456. We've got the Nasdaq off 365, S&P's off 74. I just want to go back to Kirkland Lake for a second because um, I understand a little bit more now, too, because some of the Tigers only own Kirkland Lake and don't own AEM. And in that case, this is where, this is where it gets tricky, and I understand you know, your, your, your problem of thinking is true. See, Kirkland Lake, okay, was one of the strongest stocks in the gold market. There's no two ways about that, okay? It didn't get hit like the other ones. You go back six months, currently it was $44. The low was established like three weeks ago at 37 It was right back up, okay? So the way that I would look at Kirkland Lake right now is whether you're going to sell it or not sell it. And you can, I can see that I, I've been in equities like this. One of the targets is saying um, that he's really disappointed because of the fact that Kirkland Lake was so strong. I've been, I've been in the same position, man. It drives me crazy when something good gets taken out. You have to decide if you think gold's gonna bounce. That's kind of where this is at. Because if gold bounces and AEM bounces, Kirkland Lake's gonna go with it. So that's kind of the ratio that you gotta figure out here. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities. Well, no, let's go to the bond market. So let's go to the bond market. So the bond market right now, this has been down, down pretty good. Um, we're down 11 ticks out here today. You have volume of 2.2 million, which is big volume. Let's see, we're running into, let's see, I can't do it this way. Let me, I wanna see this. Okay, if I take the bottom of this one, what I'm doing right now, folks, is this. I'm gonna take the price projection when it broke the consolidation, consolidation to see where we're at. So we have 132, 23. That was the bottom of it. The top of it was approximately 134.20. So let's call it two points. Okay, that's cool. So two points gets you 130.21. That's your price projection. And thus far, we've hit 131.07. So that looks like it's got another point to go. That's kind of how this shakes out. And if we go to the TLT, because the TLT does have volume and price, what you're going to get with the TLT, uh, now the TLT is coming into its strength with tremendously lighter volume. Uh, it, it broke the consolidation, and when it broke the consolidation, however, 14, it broke it today, 14, it broke it with volume. So if I do that one, that's 145, 153, you get eight, 
138. You got 144 and 138 is game. And 138 is going to be how we come off the bottom on the TLT. You, you come, what's happening with the TLT, the TLT right now is coming into strength. Uh, and you do have volume that's contracting. It's still good volume, but the volume is contracting. Um, okay, so this one, this one's a tough one, man. This one, the next question here is that if you had the cues, would you go overnight with them? Um, yeah, I would, you know. And I hope you know my reasoning. My reasoning is that we're going down into this July 19th deal. It's only eight more points lower. You get an ABC structure on the way down. You know, it might jump that creek. If it jumps that creek, let me look at this for a second. And it's a tough one. I understand, Mia, because it, it's up big. Yeah, see, we can go to 297. This gets interesting. Yeah. I mean, the Q's on a normal retracement, by the way, can get to... Well, it's not that bad. Hold on. That can't be right. Oh, man. Is that right? No. Yeah, 324. 324. They can make it to 324. You know, first you got to get inside the lower range. Well, hey, let, let's take one step at a time. First step, 352. Next step, you, if, if we come down tomorrow and you come down with volume, it'll blow away 352. And then you're going to put game on at 324. And, you know, at 324, though, so watch this. That, from the whole run, there's two different ways you can, well, there's a couple of different ways. First, we're going to do it from the run and just see what kind of retracement that is. So, so picture from the whole run, that is just over, it's about a 25% retracement, which, you know, a 50% retracement is a normal retracement in the market, folks. So that's, that's a deep retracement. People go out of their minds on that one. Um, if we take, we put it this way, and then if we take the aspect, I'm going to put this on a weekly again. Now, if that's where we go, people will be very frustrated because that brings you all the way back at the beginning to January. That's only January of this year, right? Yeah. Brings you back to square one. That's kind of where this uh, baby takes you. And that would be, I know, it's tough to say, but that would be normal too, folks. That's, that's real bottom line. It's not, it's, not, it's not, you know, this expansion that we've seen has been one of the biggest expansions, you know, that I've seen in the market in years. So it, it makes sense that you're going to get a correction and you're going to get a correction. It's going to be a little bit bigger. Um, we know that we get the volume behind the move. Um, you know, what we get a little savior here in the aspect of time-wise. And what I mean by that is that uh, we're dealing with, let's see, today's the 28th. Let me just see this calendar for a second. So calendar-wise, okay, that's cool. So, you know, you get Friday being the first. You know, you get fun money coming in. So picture what happens here. You get huge amounts of IRA money that's going to be coming in the marketplace. The fund managers will have to put it to use, but they don't have to put it to use like they can put it to use next Monday or Tuesday. So I suspect you could have a, a real tough three or four days here. Then they'll put it to use. And it, it, it depends. Hey, pitch, so picture this. I want you to all put yourself in a funds manager position. You know that you have a downdraft that you're in right now. So the real question is, I guess, when do you want to put that money to work? And we all want the least expensive prices we can get. So on one side, I can see fund managers saying, okay, I want this to come low and get this over with so I can put it to work. On the other side of that, they can see their amount of money that they're running go down dramatically and say, oh no, I want this to stop right now. The first one that I said, I suspect that's where most people are going to be because they're in this for the longer haul. So. I suspect what we're going to see is that you're not going to see any buying until next week. That's how this seems to be shaking out. Dow's down 607, Nasdaq's off 428, S&Ps are off 93, and this thing is going south, folks. Um, and you get volume behind the move. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 547, Nasdaq's up 407, S&P's down 86. And let's just go take a look at the indice volume. So we're at uh, 720 on the NY, on the... Uh, NYSCs, that's going to end up doing a billion. So that you got an expansion of volume there. The NASDAQ, we are at, uh, we're already at 4.4. The NASDAQ will do like 5 billion. So the bottom line is that you're coming down and you have volume behind the move. Uh, SPY, that had light volume. It, well, look at this. This picked up too, man. Oh, this is interesting. That picked up to 108 million. So you got some, you got some action here. And that is closing or getting close to the lows of the day. So this is going to go after these lows, man. And then the Qs, forget. The Qs are a whole different animal. What, what always blows my mind, it blows my mind how fast the Qs can get down. The Qs are at 87 million. And, you know, you already blew away the, the 76 million. They're just, they're a one-way route on the way down. And in fact, that was when I was, me and Tommy were talking. And to this day, so picture this, folks, okay? I mean, I've been in front of a screen 24 hours a day since 1994. I started in, what, 1981, first trade. It still blows my mind how fast the cues can go down. Because when I look at a chart, you know, I was doing this a few weeks ago. I'm saying to myself, man, you know, can this really go, like, go down to this level? But the cues, man, when they sell the growth stocks, they just... Don't stop selling them. You know, it's it's seriously the elevator down inside the NDX 100. And it's always been that way since I've been in the marketplace. So last 40 years or whatever, uh, bottom line is that that's how it goes when it goes downtown. 
you know, what you should be doing right now is that you should be making a list of what you want because it's going to be, I, I'll tell you flat out, it's going to be really hard to buy. It, it's just going to be hard to buy. We'll start thinking that, hey, man, market's never going to go back up, all of that. You're going to brainwash yourself and feed into your own head, okay, but that's not how it works, okay, particularly in this environment because we're in inflation. So these numbers are going to be inflated. We are going to get out lower, but guess what? You get some good stocks you want, do it before the fact. Because if you do it before the fact, you're going to have a much better chance of hitting that button. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Please tell your friends about it. They need us and Tommy right now. Yeah, go get them, folks. Building